Now at 530, calls for change continue to grow louder in South Florida. Tonight, a petition to change a local city's name is gaining momentum. And those calls include changing the names of places that some say stir up memories of racism. We're talking about efforts to rename the city of Plantation and the name of the county it sits in, Broward County. CBS 4's Joe Murray is in Fort Lauderdale to explain what's in a name, right Joe? Well, Ellie and Lauren, practically on every block here in downtown Broward, there is a building with the name Broward on it. Many people do not know the history, but for some, it triggers very painful feelings. Same could be said for the city of Plantation just west of here, and that is why some are calling for change. In Plantation, they say the grass is greener, but in this city of beautifully landscaped homes, some say the name needs a reset. I think it's it's a time right where it's a social awakening um, and, and I think it's just time for change. Daryl Augusty has started a petition to change the name. Inspired when he saw Confederate statues toppling during demonstrations for racial equality, he says plantation conjures memories of slavery on the plantation. It kind of takes us back to a shameful point in our nation's history and it's just it's just hurtful. The petition is getting traction. It would mean huge changes with everything from street names, churches, and schools containing the name Plantation. We've just been met with just some sort of really crazy hatred, just uh, threats and, and comments on who we are as people. And it's, and it's just kind of like an ugly underbelly of just kind of how um, these types of things work. Despite that, calls for change are getting louder. I think this is really the time to kind of build upon the momentum from some of those protests. Kyle Hill has started a petition to change the county's name. Napoleon Broward was governor 115 years ago. After his writings revealed he was a segregationist, his statue was removed from the courthouse in 2017. He was a racist figure and a segregationist. And I think the next logical step is just to go ahead and rename the county. It too would require a lot of renaming with signs in government buildings. That's ridiculous. This is the most multiracial place you'll find maybe even on the planet, and I've been all around. Like, times are changing, and names can change, too. You see, there are a lot of different opinions on these matters. Now the petitions keep growing, names keep being added, but it's unclear exactly how long and how many names would be needed to exactly get this kind of change. But those wanting this change are willing to wait. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.